In this video, I'm going to talk to you about multiple architecture support in Docker. So firstly, what is Docker? Docker is an open source container technology that allows developers to build, deploy and manage their applications within an isolated, replicable environment. As the number of devices developers have to consider grows, so does the challenge of ensuring their code runs correctly across multiple platforms. This is fine if you have access to lots of different bits of hardware, but how do you manage platforms you might not have access to, such as different types of servers or embedded devices? These platforms have different processor microarchitectures, which means the fundamental way the CPU processes a command, such as add or subtract, differs. This is why developers' code doesn't implicitly run everywhere. This is where Docker MultiArch support comes in. It allows you to build and compile applications right from your laptop that will run natively across thousands of different platforms and multiple processor microarchitectures. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is download and install Docker. I've included the links for Windows and Mac downloads in the description of this video. But if you go to docker.com it's fairly obvious. Once you've downloaded and installed it, you'll notice you've got this little uh, whale icon in the top. And if I select that, it tells you that Docker is running uh, and gives you a bunch of helpful links. OK, so let's go to a terminal now. And if you run Docker images, it will show you a list of all of the available Docker images you have on your machine. As you can see, at the moment, I don't have any. If we go back to the browser, hub.docker.com, and we can search here for uh, thousands of different containers. Now we're interested in multi-arch support, so I'm going to run a search query for multi-arch. As you can see, there's a list of containers has come up immediately with that tag. So if we select one of those and then click on multi-arch at the top, it will take us to all of the containers that have been made by this user group. Okay, so here you can see the full list and the one that we are particularly interested in initially is QMU user static. So let's go back to our terminal and we can run this command docker pull which will go off to the docker hub and get the container that we're interested in. So now if I run docker images I'll see that look I've got that image that I've just downloaded from the hub. Okay let's start that now um, and I'm going to start mine in interactive mode with this flag IT and I'm also going to specify the entry point so it gives me a shell terminal. I'm also going to run it in privilege mode and I'm going to specify the container and the tag I'd like to run. Okay, go ahead and hit enter. That started that for me. If I type ls, I can see a collection of the files that are on the machine. And if I cat the register file, it will show me um, what's going on behind the scenes. So as you can see here in this file, um, there are lots of different architectures listed. There's ARM and PPC. Uh, and uh, what's happening here is Docker is telling the virtualization layer what to mimic um, for the different applications and this will mean that the containers think they are running on that particular architecture which is really useful because it now means that we can have our system uh, fool the docker containers into thinking that actually the processor underneath is fundamentally different which is exactly the problem that we were trying to get around so I'm going to exit back to my terminal and I'm going to run the command uname a and you can see there x86 64 so what that's telling me is that I've got an x86 based processor in my system and it's running in 64 bit mode so that's natively what's happening on my laptop okay so we're going to go and get another container now a container that we can actually um, start to do some stuff with we could do some development in uh, and I'm going to prove to you that it genuinely thinks it's a different architecture okay so if we go back to the docker hub and scroll down to Ubuntu core and then select tags we can see all the different tags there okay so scrolling down here then let's select the um, PPC 64-bit trusty image for Ubuntu core okay I'm gonna copy and paste that tag because it'll make things easier in a second I'm gonna go back to the terminal now and type docker pull again to go off and get that image um, and of course it's multi arch slash Ubuntu core and the tag we wanted was PPC 64 EL trusty Okay, so that's pulling down now, that's going off to the Docker Hub and getting the container. Great, let's run that in interactive mode again, and you do that just by going docker run, IT, and then uh, the container name and tag. So we want a multi-arch, Ubuntu core, and then PPC64 LE. There we go, and if we hit enter, uh, you can see it's given us a terminal um, in this Docker image. 
So that command then that shows me what's going on, what the processor architecture is, uh, uname a Now I'm in this container, I'm gonna run exactly the same command. Now it's come up saying uh, PPC 64 LE. So it's a little endian PowerPC 64 bit variant. Okay, so that's Docker multiple architecture support then. So you can see now that you can build and deploy applications to multiple processor architectures right from your laptop. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.